Okay, dear students, our next question of exercise is 8.4. A wave is produced along a stretched string, but some of its particles permanently show zero displacement. What type of the wave is it? I repeat, a wave is produced along a stressed string, but some of its particles permanently show zero displacement. What type of the wave is it? Students, answer of this question can be written as they ask uh, that stationary wave is formed along a stress string, but some of its points show permanently zero distance. We can write this, uh, we can represent on a string. This is string when we vibrate this string. So wave should be like this. Okay, so there are there is some points like this. where the displacement is zero, these points. And we know that these points are nodes. Okay, if there is opposite wave, so this is also that point where displacement is zero. And we know that, what type of the wave is it? And if these two waves intersect like this, then we can get some of pattern like this. So some points where the displacement will be zero, that's, those points are called nodes or zero displacement and in the stationary waves we can say that these points so show zero displacement. So we can write this, the answer of this question is, this is stationary wave. Because in stationary waves, sum of points permanently show zero displacement. Okay, student, we can answer this question like this. Uh, this is stationary wave because we know that in stationary wave sum of points are permanently show zero displacement. Okay, student, now we are going to answer next question 8.5. Explain the term crust, trough, node, and antinode. I repeat, explain the term crust, trough, and node, and antinode. Okay, student, we are going to define uh, the four basic parts of the uh, sinusoidal wave, uh, transverse wave. Crust, crust, those points of those points of transverse wave transverse transfer wave which above which are above above the mean position okay curse those points of transverse wave which are above the mean position diagrammatically we can show this This is crust. So these this, uh, these are crust. Next term is trough. Okay, dear learners, we can define the trough like crust. Those points.
of transverse wave which are below the mean position okay students those points of transverse wave which are below the mean position and this is a transverse wave propagating transfer wave those these points which are below this is mean position o and those points which are below the mean position trough those are called trough next term is node okay students those points which show permanently zero displacement from the mean position on either side above or below this is called node so we can define the node we can write the node as those points of transverse wave which show zero displacement from mean point now we are going to define anti node last term of this question is anti node okay we have already defined node and node and opposite of the node is anti node in node we defined that zero displacement while in anti node we can define the maximum displacement from the mean position those points of transverse wave which show maximum displacement which show maximum displacement from mean point or mean position in either direction in either direction mean to say above and below above or below so we can represent the anti node like this this is transfer wave that point which is above the mean point or below the mean point which are denoted as we can write this as nodes and anti nodes and anti nodes are maximum displacement crust trough this is maximum displacement from the mean position this is called anti nodes because these points show maximum displacement from the mean position on either side either above or below and in terminology of the transverse wave we say these those points as a crust and as a trough we already have defined those two terms